Hey, what's going on guys? Archer Remark here. I'm back with another Star Wars figure review. Uh, hope all is well. Uh, we got another vintage collection figure again from the Expanded Universe. And in this case, it is a character debut. And this is Shea Vizsla. Which, uh, of all the figures, the new figures that I got from the uh, recent case from Entertainment Earth, this is the pick of the litter. This is an outstanding, outstanding figure. So much to go over. And, well, again, we will start with the packaging. I'm going to keep going. Uh, again, we'll start at the top. Usual ages four and up. Uh, your warning, you know, trucking hazard label. Star Wars Expanded Universe logo. The... Character name, Shea Vizsla, Old Republic Bounty Hunter. And just look at this dynamic image. You got a blaster in one hand, a flamethrower going. Really um, cool image of the character. You can see all her kind of armor and the uh, fiery red, red haired kind of beauty we got here. Um, not so much with the head sculpts. We'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, again, we go down and see it says, Character Debut, never before offered as a figure. You get the Kenner logo, flip it around again. Um, I mentioned in my last review, there's the uh, New Hope logo. Here you have the vintage description. Uh... Hasbro was stopping the vintage collection line, at least for now. So, this is one of the last times, or I'm not sure how much longer the vintage collection will be going on. I think just until the end of the year. One or two more waves. Okay. Uh, we have, well, Shea Vizzo, which we're doing now. All these other figures, Starkiller, I just reviewed. Nikto's been reviewed, Tarkin, Oddball, all these characters, or most of these characters. Just uh, If you want to check out the reviews of these characters, just go on my channel, do a search. Uh, most of them are there. Uh, Malgus, Luke, Anakin I don't have yet, the Navy Commander I don't have yet. But not hugely high on my list. Vader I have, I'm just going to keep carded for now. we got all the Blu-ray figures. These have all been reviewed. So, uh, there you have the Vintage Collection logo. A couple of vehicles. I'm going to go down. we got your usual Hasbro.com, Star Wars.com, all that good stuff. Okay. Now, that's enough about the packaging. Now, look at this figure. Now, she is amazing. Hasbro did an unbelievable job. Again, so many little details. Just This is, I think, one of those figures where it's like, even if you're not into the Expanding Universe, like, even if you're just an, like an original trilogy collector, or more of an orig original trilogy guy, um, or girl, uh, this is going to be a figure I think everyone is going to want to pick up. It's just so cool. It's like it's like Bastilla Sean. It's like one of those characters where you just you have to have. It's too cool to not have. It's like in fact, like there's some people that aren't into the Clone Wars, like the sort of older fans that are just into original trilogy, and but they w still wanted to pick up Savage Press or the Armored Savage Press. It was just too good of a figure. Alright, so again, so I, you got this whole up and down 360 look. And some should show all kinds of little, obviously mostly black and sort of silver, silvery, grayish, metallic. But there are little bits and splotches of color. Little gold, little red, little blue. The paint apps are great. It just very well applied. Very cool. 
See? Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna discuss. Uh, there's so much to show. I'm not sure what this, where to start with. You have this sort of jet pack, rocket pack here. Looks very cool. Again, mostly gray, but little bits of red. And you're down here, this piece here, which kind of looks like the thermal detonator that we see on the stormtroopers. I'm not sure if that's what that's supposed to be. But again, gray, black, but a little bit of blue. You know, you go here and you have the knee armor. And again, you know, gold, red up here. This one is just the plain, but you got a little bit of blue. Just so many little things. Uh, you know, gold pouches, the blue on the on the uh, buckle. Uh, again, the shoulder pads are even different. They didn't everything. The design of this character. You got a little bit of gold on red on the gaunt and gold and red on the gauntlets. Little upper arm thing. Uh, the one shoulder armor is gold here. Uh, on this side, you know, it's it's a different kind of shoulder armor. Got little bits of red and red on the on the gloves. Just so cool. Just so many little details. Um, this piece does come off. You got a tab, lots of little hole there. Um, for time reasons, we're just going to leave it there. And the backpack, the jetpack is removed again. Just tabs in and out. Very cool. Now here's what I mean about other people have done this figure and have talked about this. The, the facial sculpt just doesn't quite look like this on the card back. It looks she looks a lot better on the card back. Just a little more feminine looking, you know. Again, she's a bounty hunter, so she's kinda, you know, tough and badass. She's not trying to be sexy, but you know, you could be sexy and tough at the same time. I don't know. But the facial sculpt just... It's just... I don't know. At the jaw, look. She's got like almost like a... I hate to say mannish, but... You know, it's just... Um, it's a little off. That's the one bad thing I would say about the figures. The facial sculpt isn't the greatest, or at least compared to... Uh, the, the image on the card back. And it's just... But, uh, you know. Oh, well. Um, as you can see here, she has flamethrowers on both arms, and she comes with these flame pieces which fit really nicely, and they don't look too big, or, you know, they... They, they did a... You know, again, it's been done before with other figures, like, Boba Fett and Jango Fett figures and whatnot, and, but it really works well on this. And then you, she has two of these blaster pistols, which are very unique, nicely sculpted, nice, nicely painted. You know, silvery. Little bit of see right here on the scope, you can see a little bit of blue. You got a black down here. They fit in her hands really well. Uh, down here, you have this. She doesn't really have holsters, but this bit on it is sort of like a little bit of flexible. Can be you can slot them in there if you want. It'll sort of uh, bend the blasters a little bit, but you can, you can just bend them back. Bend them back. Excuse me. Um, rushing this a little. Uh, yeah, but I'm just gonna keep them out. I don't like the way they look in there, but it is an option. Uh. While we're at, okay, we're gonna go over the articulation real quick, and it's phenomenal. Uh, ball jointed neck, ball and shoulders, ball and elbow, swivel wrists, ball jointed torso, uh, swivel swivel hips, ball and knees, and ball and ankles. So amazing, amazing articulation. Really good. You can get her in so many great dynamic poses, as you can see here. This is just one. Uh, her other accessories, see, again, she comes with another one of these flame pieces. Just, they really did a good job on it. They've sort of perfected these flame pieces on this, you know. And again, she comes with two of these pistols. Here's the other one, just at the, 
much just the same as the f first but you can see it if it'll focus just really nice very very unique very different I don't think there's any other figure that has a pistol like this it's very cool and then one of the most unique things it's not a removable helmet but you could swap out the head and put this helmet on top and this is really cool and you can see silver black again some red markings there a um, little bit of blue and you can see the sort of fin on the side is kind of uh, Death Watch reminiscent, which was mentioned, I think um, FlyGuy.net mentioned that, so kind of borrowing that from him. And even detail inside it, you know, it's you got a brownish color and just looks really cool. Very, very cool. I think I'm probably going to, if I display this figure, I think I'm probably going to display it with the helmet. But either way, it looks great. Really awesome. It just, they, Hasbro just went all out on this figure. I cannot, uh, I, I really, you know, I, I'll get used to the face sculpt. I, you know, it's just, it's just, it's more of a stern look as opposed, I just, this, she just looks, you know what, I'll say it, she looks hot. <laughs> uh, in that f image but you know whatever everything else is so phenomenal on this figure I, I just I can't dwell on any shortcomings at all for too long this is it's an amazing amazing figure definitely absolutely pick this this figure up again even if you're not I don't know anything about this character I know haven't played the game. I don't really know anything about this character, but it's, she's just too cool to not pick up. You know, again, I think this is going to be one of those figures where just everyone's going to want her, whether you're an OT guy or a prequel guy or girl. I uh, don't want to, you know, there's many female collectors out there. I don't want to forget that. So this is just an amazing, amazing figure. I hope you have enjoyed this review. Uh, there you go. From the Expanded Universe, Shea Vizsla, Old Republic Bounty Hunter. And just amazing. So, uh, before I go on too long, you know, I can't recommend her enough. Uh, definitely, again, pick her up. I know I've repeated myself. And we're getting a little long here, so we're going to wrap this up. So, as usual, comment, rate, subscribe. You know, love the feedback all the time. Every every view, comment, whatever is appreciated. And uh, as usual, until my next video, uh, take care and may the force be with you.